and that's how well your front wheel spins when you grease it up. Alright guys, Pit Bike Sonic here and today we're at KHR Motorcycles to pick up the final bits before we head off to Spain in about three weeks time now. Um, we've got a few things we're picking up, we've got brake pads, chain and also the wheel and um, spindle which I uh, both had broken uh, bolts inside threads that we had to get drilled out and all sorts. So picking up the final bits today then we're going to head off home, get these final bits fitted um, and I'm going to show you guys today all the things that um, I take to Spain. So you have to pack quite lightly, you can't be taking everything with you. So I'm just going to show you all the things that I take over on the Benidorm trip and we're going to get it all packed up and ready to go for three weeks time when we head off to sunny Benidorm. <laughs> let's, ha let's get into this vlog. Guys, I do apologise, this is a voiceover. I forgot to turn the mic on on the camera. Here are my Sonic Crocs. Right, so I have to have a look in the box and see what we got. Start off, we got a brand new RK heavy duty racing chain. I always recommend changing your chain um, every season on a pit bike because at the end of the day, we're only making 14 horsepower. So you want the chain to be like have a good chain and be in the best condition possible um, because obviously we're only making minimal horsepower. So I always change it at the end of every season. Then we've got the new TRW brake pads. We're putting a set of them on each bike, the Pit Bike Sonic bike and the CW bike. So yeah, they're all the bits that we've got in the box here. A few other things here. I had a broken sprocket bolt in the wheel and also a broken bolt in the axle as well where I crashed, um, where the bolt goes through for the crash bobbin. So... As you can see here, this is Kai breaking my new chain, so it matches the length of the old one. So I haven't got to obviously do any different sort of wheel adjustment. As you can see here, this is how much the chain has stretched over just one season. So it's definitely worth um, getting it changed regularly, as you can see here. Look what the postman has just dropped off, a fresh batch of 7-1 racing oil. Not just some oil. We've got ourselves a 7-1 racing woolly hat as well. And Wendy, better watch out if I'm wearing that 7-1 racing hat around the paddock because you know, guys, what the birds are like. Um, with 7-1 racing stuff, uh, they go nuts for it. So, uh, yeah, thank you 7-1 Racing Oil for sending me a fresh batch out before I go to Spain. Right guys, so we're back at Pit Boy Sonic HQ now. Um, we're going to put these few bits on the CW that we just picked up from KHR Motorcycles, like the chain, brake pads, wheels, um, and we're going to stick them all back on now. And then we're going to go through this mess that's down here uh, and pack all ready for Spain and just put all the things that we just need. We don't have to take our usual full kit that we take to a full race meeting. So we'll get through all of this and um, yeah, show you guys all the things that you need to take uh, when you're pit biking abroad. So Kai cut this chain exactly the same length as my old one. So apart from that tiny little bit of stretch we had, this should go on um, pretty much in exactly the right place as we left it. Let's see. Lovely, that looks pretty good to me. Right, so the pads that I've just taken out don't look in that bad a condition. They look pretty good to be fair, but I don't know how long they've been sitting there. Um, we're just going to change them anyway, get them done, so yeah. Chuck these away, get our brand new TWR ones in, courtesy of KHR Motorcycles. Let's get them in. Brand new fresh pads. 
Let's hopefully, let's hope for uh, top racking in Spain. Another little tip for you guys. Um, I like my wheels to run as freely as possible. Like I always say, we're running very small horsepower, so every little gain always helps. So I always get a bit of grease, and just put it on my spindle. Just, I don't know, keeps things running freer. So just put a light bit on and hopefully just keeps those wheels free, keeps those wheels spinning a bit freer. And that's how well your front wheel spins when you grease it up. Even when the pads are against the disc. Boom. Right, so guys, that is the final little bit done on the um, CW. I think that, well, that bike is done now. There's a few tiny little bit more bits I want to do. And there is a few more upgrades, if I can get them in time before I, before we drop the bike off on the 26th um, at Donington we're dropping it off at. I'll film all that as well, dropping the bike off to the lorry and that. But this is all the gear that we take um, on the Benidorm trip. We pack quite lightly. So obviously we've got kit bag here with levers in. We've got our helmets there as well. There will be another kit bag, but Wendy's DRC levers haven't turned up in time yet. Fingers crossed they do make it here in time. So we've got about another week and a bit. Or, yeah, week and a half until we drop the bikes off at Donington on the uh, 26th. This is the big box that I take. Um, and this has got the, the majority of the stuff in. So uh, let's open it up and I'll show you guys everything that comes to Benidorm. So if we look in here, we've got a big fuel can that we take to fill up with the uh, Repsol um, blue stuff that you get in Spain. You'll see that in the video. Uh, other things... Foot pump, obviously you're going to do need that. Um, we've got a spare set of handlebars. Um, we've got a little um, coat hanger stand, just makes it easier than taking two. We'll just take the one, the seven one racing one down there. Um, we have got a box here, which has just got um, just like a few little bits in. So we've got things like a tire pressure gauge, duct tape, cable ties, um, some helmet, fresh foam, because uh, my one's been sitting in Spain. We got the, uh, of course, the 7-1 1040 racing oil, pit bike um, designed racing oil. This is really going to impress all the uh, Spanish senoritas. So we've got that, got some chain lube, we've got some visor cleaner, lock wire and some Loctite. So yeah, just a few little bits down there. Got a spare exhaust because obviously we're seeing with mine sometimes it does fall apart. So we've got a spare exhaust. Got a blue point socket set, and then in this one, in this one, we've just got loads of little spares, so pit bike spares. So if we look in here, we've got a spare wheel bearings, sump plug, spark plugs, rear brake pads. Not that I use the rear brake, more spark plugs. Um We've got an axle nut, some valves, just little things like that. If we open up inside this little magic box, we've got things like, uh, that is for the other exhaust system. We've got an air filter, brake discs, clutch levers, throttle cables, chain, bobbins, um, levers, as you can see there. There's just all sorts there. Brake discs, like I said, a few electrical items, but yeah, gear levers, all sorts. So just anything that we might break while we're out in Spain, but we're not over packing. And then we've got this tray here that is just full of nuts and bolts, um, springs, all sorts that, yeah, you never know. All sizes, different sizes, um, and you never know you might need them. So yeah, it's just full of spacers, nuts and bolts and all that sort of thing. So that is everything they're packing for Spain. Tools wise, I've laid them all down here for you. Tools wise, we're packing light. So we've got rubber mallet, spark plug remover, 
assortment of allen keys, assortment of screwdrivers, assortment of spanners, cable tie clippers and the lock wire tool for when we do a service halfway through the week. So th that's it, they're all the tools that you need. So yeah, that's about it really, that is all the stuff. Oh, a few other things as well, don't forget guys, pack some chairs, you want somewhere comfier so you don't want to be sitting on the floor at track all week, even though it has got a very nice bar up there you want to be able to sit down nice and comfortably. So yeah, that is pretty much all the stuff that uh, we pack to Benidorm. We do pack quite light, as you can see. Things you really don't need to take with you. You don't need to take wets on wheels with you because if it rains, you're just going to go out and enjoy yourself in Benidorm and have a few drinks and things like that. You're not going to worry about going out on track and the track is extremely slippery in the wet. So don't bother taking wets. Also, tyre warmers, you don't need them. In Benidorm in March, you're looking in the high teens or the low 20s, so it is plenty warm enough. You get loads of track time. You do not need to take tyre warmers. So guys, do not worry about taking tyre warmers. Tyres I recommend to take, do not take brand new tyres. Always take scrubbed in tyres. This track is very smooth. It's not abrasive whatsoever. If you take brand new tyres, you will not scrub them in. So make sure you take some Good tyres, so I'd say a couple of meeting old scrub tyres, SS's and you'll be fine for the whole week. So yeah, don't go take brand new tyres on this Benidorm trip, make sure you take some second hand ones. 24 hours later. So that is pretty much everything ready to go guys. Um, we're all packed up, pretty much done, carne sent in. Um, we're dropping the bike off on the 26th, I believe it's like the 10th today. So. We've got just over two weeks now until we're packing up and then obviously we'll be there from the 1st to the 7th. So can't wait for Benidorm this year. Absolutely love it. The weather looks like it's going to be scorcher this year. They're having like um, really hot weather out there in Spain at the moment. So fingers crossed it's going to be like that for us as well. Can't wait to get over there. I love this trip um, and I can't wait to show you guys on the new camera um how brilliant it is if go back and watch previous benadorn trips it's an absolute laugh and if there's any of you who are thinking about doing it in the next few years i really recommend doing it finish strat is a really good track and just like the whole environment of being in benadorn is just having a really good time and riding your bike as well it's just absolutely epic so guys cheers for watching this vlog just a little catch up really show you what's happening um, next week's vlog, ooh, what will it be? I'm not sure yet, haven't thought of anything, but I'm sure we'll think of something. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you want to watch more videos, hit that button there. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that button there. Don't forget guys as well, I've got a Patreon page if you want to get a little bit more benefits from the channel. Speak to you soon, bye bye.